Hi. Today we are going to discuss about uh, AKS microservices architecture, which is called uh, Azure Kubernetes Services. So if you see this, generally, as far as the architecture itself is concerned, wherein it details several configurations which are considered when running the microservices on Azure Kubernetes services. Where this including this configuration of network policies. At the same time, uh, pod auto scaling, along with that distributed tracing across a microservices based application. At the same time, this architecture builds on uh, AKS baseline architecture, where it recommends to start the infrastructure and all everything like features, something relating to Azure Active Directory, workload identity, ingress and ingress restrictions. At the same time, resource limitations and other secure AKS infrastructure configurations as well. When we talk about the workflows itself is concerned, Request flow implementation, majorly focusing on publisher and scriber. At the same time, it is been connecting with competing consumes and gateway routing cloud design patterns. This messaging flow proceeds as follows as the HTTP request is submitted to the schedule a drone pick point. The request passed through the Azure application gateway into the ingestion web application, which runs as an in-cluster microservices in AKS. The ingestion web application produces a message and send it to the service bus message queue. The backend the back system assigns a drone and notifies the users in the workflow itself. As far as this workflow itself is concerned, it consumes message information from the service bus message queue, sends an HTTPS request to the delivery microservices, which passes data to Azure Cache for Redis external data storage. Sends an HTTPS request to the drone schedule microservices. At the same time, sends an HTTPS request to the package microservices, which passes data to MongoDB external data storage. An HTTPS GET request is used to return delivery status. This request passes through the application gateway into the delivery microservices. The delivery microservices reads data from Azure Cache for Redis. Components, something like uh, Azure Kubernetes Services is in uh, offering, which majorly provides a managed Kubernetes cluster. When using this Kubernetes uh, services and all, this Kubernetes API service is managed by Azure. These nodes are node pools are accessible and can be managed by the cluster operator as well. When we talk about AKS infrastructure features, where system and user node pool separation, at the same time, AKS managed Azure AD for role-based access controls, Azure AD workload identity, Azure policy add-ons for AKS, Azure container networking interfaces as well. Azure Monitoring Container Insights, Azure Virtual Networks are isolated and highly secure environments for running virtual missions. At the same time, these applications as well as architectures use a peer hub spoke virtual network topology, where this hub virtual uh, network holds the Azure Firewall and Azure Bastion subnets. The spoke virtual network holds the AK system and user node pool subnets and Azure application gateway subnets. When you talk about Azure Private Link Allocate, specifies private IP address to access Azure Container Registry and Key Vault from private endpoints within the AK system and use node pool subnet. Azure Application Gateway with Web Application Firewalls, something like WF exposes HTTPS routes to the AKS cluster and load balances web traffic to the web application as well. Along with this, this architecture uses Azure Application Gateway integrated contiguous ingress controllers as the Kubernetes ingress controllers as well. Azure Bastion provides secure remote desktop protocol and secure shell access to VMs and virtual networks by using a secure socket layer, which is called SSL in short. Without the need to expose VMs through public IP address, Azure Firewall is a network security. The 
that provides and as well as protects all the Azure virtual network resources. This firewall allows only approved services and fully qualified domain names has egress traffic. External storage and other components like Azure Key Vault storages and manages security keys for AKS services. Azure Container Registry stores private containers images that can be run in AKS cluster. AKS authenticates the container registry using Azure AD managed identity. You can also use this container re registers like Docker Hub to all that stuff. At the same time, Azure Cosmos DB storage data using the open source Azure Cosmos DB for MongoDB. Microservices are typically stateless and write their state to external data sources where Cosmos DB is a NoSQL database with open source APIs for MongoDB and Cassandra. Azure Service Bus offers reliable cloud messaging as a service and simply simple hybrid integration where Service Bus supports SNMQ's message patterns that are common with microservices application. Azure Cache for Redis adds a caching layer to the application architecture to improve speed and performance for heavy traffic loads. Azure Monitor collects and stores metric locks, including application telemetry and Azure Platform and Services metrics. We also use this data to monitor an application, set up alerts and dashboards, and perform root cause analysis of failures. Other operating support system components, like Helm as a package managed for Kubernetes that bundles Kubernetes objects into a single unit, wherein you can see this as well as publish, deploy, and version and update. Azure Key Vault's uh, secret store CSA provides gets uh, secrets from stored in the Azure Key Vault and uses the secret store CSA driver's interfaces to mount them into Kubernetes ports. At the same time, Flux is an operational extensible continuous delivery solution for Kubernetes powered by GitOps toolkits as well. So this is the whole understanding about in reference to the AKS part in reference to the AKS, what is that? Are we talking? Are we discussed about all this time? For more details regarding this AKS, which is called uh, Azure Kubernetes Services and all, please reach us to the contact details, which will be posted in below to this video. Thank you.